welcome back. I have another movement for you guys. It's called a one-armed kettlebell chest press. So this one is very, very good for stability and being kind of off balance on the motorcycle. Sometimes coming in the corner, this leg's off or whatever happens. You know, like I explained before, a hand coming off, somebody hits your hand, the hand your hand gets knocked off from your handlebars, whatever it is. So, and you need that cross section of of strength from your left to right sides. Okay, it's very, very important in motocross because sometimes your legs off coming into a corner, you're always going left and right and things. So this is a very, very good movement that I've noticed for my grip strength and my overall uh, arm strength, elbow, shoulder, core, legs, everything. So um, I, I feel a big difference when my grip got stronger, kind of everything else followed it. And now I feel like I can move my bars and my bike almost with my fingers to a point because I've gotten my grip strength and my, my arms so strong. Not to a point where I'm a big muscle guy, but I've done it right. So here we go. One arm kettlebell chest press laying on a Swiss ball, okay? And this one's just a little baby weight, so. So I put all my attention in my hand, okay? Keeping my hips up, nice and easy. Nothing too fast. Keeping this kettlebell up. I have my hand ready here in case this kettlebell starts coming down towards my face. Just like that. Okay, that's one side. Another side. This is my weak side or my non-dominant side. And usually your non-dominant side is way weaker than your dominant side, meaning the arm you use most. So I've let my made my weaker side catch up with my dominant side, which is very important in motocross. Not to be unbalanced. And that's about all I got today. And if anybody's wondering. That's 32 kilos, which is 70.5 pounds going on. So you don't have to be big to be strong. You just have to train right. So this is a very good movement for those days for strength and stability, slower days. Um, you don't want to put this in your cardio stuff and, uh, or your strength endurance. So very, very, very good workout movement. You can do it with uh, dumbbells also if you don't have kettlebells, but the kettlebell staying up adds so much more difficulty to it. So enjoy this one, and hopefully you guys put this into your programs. Be safe, we'll see you soon.